This is a brief guide on how to manage admin roles in Google Apps for Education. Um, the reason that you probably want to do this is to allow people like uh, teachers to be able to change students' passwords. There are additions to Google Apps which you can add on which will allow you to do this differently, so for example Hapara Teacher Dashboard, but if you don't want to pay for anything extra, um, you can uh, do it via admin roles. So if you go into admin roles on your Google Apps Management Console, you'll find that you've got five admin roles by default. Super Administrator can literally do anything. Uh, groups Admin can manage groups and add, make groups globally, add people to them and so on. User Management can um, add uh, users, delete users and so on. But if you're not sure what a particular user can do out of these, so I've got service admin here, and we don't have any of these. If you click on privileges, timed me out. Click on privileges, you'll find out um, what that particular person can do. So, for example, um, service admin really can't do a great deal in terms of users. It can read organizational units and that's it. But a service admin would be somebody who manages Chrome OS, um, has full admin rights over emails, so this is policy settings. Whereas help desk admins, again we don't have any of these, um, essentially can reset people's passwords. Um, and not a lot else really. Um, so if you wanted to create a custom role, you can do that, and we've got a couple of custom roles. We've got one called IT Teacher, which really should just be called Teacher because it's a role that all teachers have. Um, we go back to Admin. It says um, create a custom role here. So we can give this a name, and I'll call it Test Role. Uh, I'd recommend you give it a description which describes what that user is going to be able to do on your Google Apps um, uh, as an administrator on Google Apps and perhaps what sort of people you're going to give that role to. We'll click on create and then you prompted for what privileges do you want to give that user and there's lots of combinations of things that you can do but they broadly speaking um, break down into allowing them to tweak policy, do things of users and services on and off. So probably the commonest thing to want to do is to allow users to reset passwords. So if you click on that, by default these two will also be ticked because you won't be able to reset passwords until those two are enabled as well. So you've got to be able to read user data. So I'm not going to do anything else, I'll just create this user, this admin role rather, click on save changes and now we've got that admin role. At the moment we haven't actually given anybody that role at all. So I'm going to click on admins, so these are the people who are going to have this role, and I'm going to click on assign admins. And I'm going to pick a test user I've got, so you type in the username here, and I've got a lot of test users, and I've picked this test student account here. It wouldn't normally allow students to change other students' passwords, but this isn't a real person, so we're okay. So you've got this really important bit here, admin rights on. By default, it's weeklypart.org or your domain, and this means that this user would be able to change anybody's passwords in here, although not super admins. So you click on that and expand it, you'll get all your sub-organizational units. So, for example, I give teachers admin rights to change passwords, but only change passwords on the sub-organization called students. Okay? If I expand that, I could just give them password rights on a particular year group's worth of students if I wanted to. I'll give this student the ability to change passwords on users in the sub-organizational unit parents test. This sub-organizational unit here um, doesn't actually have any users in, so we're not actually giving them any privileges whatsoever really. So select that, confirm assignment, and you'll see the user now appears here, the email of the administrator, 
and the um, admin rights on parents test. If you click on the little checkbox next to them, unassign admins, you can then revoke those admin rights. So that's how you give teachers the rights to change student passwords in Google Apps. It's relatively easy. The one downside of doing it this way is if you've got a lot of teachers, you do have to do this member of staff at a time. It's not select all your teachers and do it all in one go. Although it doesn't take a particularly long time to do. However, there are other ways of doing it, but most of those involve paying money. This is free. Okay, thank you for watching.